Hello and welcome to My Mom's Basement presented by Barstool Sports and another My Mom's Basement quick hitter talking about the new trailer for Thor, Love and Thunder. This debuted during one of the basketball games last night. I was late to it to be honest. I, I knew it was debuting during the game. I didn't know when and I logged onto Twitter and it had been out for like 15 minutes, Clem. I was like, <gasps> but I watched the trailer. I loved it. We get a lot of our guy Korg in this trailer. We get the introduction of Gore the God Butcher. There's a lot to talk about. General thought though what'd you think uh bob i heard it was going to be announced during game four of the eastern conference finals which again adorable bob's like just during one of those sports games I and know which basketball I, game it I, was. i'm wearing i just have to be wearing a nick shirt right now i couldn't tell you which game it was i know who or who's playing in it but i said yeah i'm probably gonna be long asleep by the time that happens because i'm an old man however the mets are on the west coast so i was watching laying down with a blanket on me but i was watching and i I didn't even, it just was out. It was on Twitter for 20 minutes or we two. And I'm like, oh shit. It was, you know, we're getting all the memes are going on and everything. So it was really pumping out. Uh, I dug it. I, it was the perfect way to start, thing up, uh, to start things off is just Uncle Korg just telling stories. And tell me like Korg isn't the perfect guy. If you're just like Uncle Korg with the kids and he's giving the kids popcorn. He even sneaks them a little candy. Even told them no kid, no candy for the kids, right? He's, I'm, I'm just having fun with the kids, mate. And I, I don't know. I just felt back at I felt back at home, and this is coming from someone that every time I see the colors and I get the hint of the Guardians, I get really sad that this isn't Guardians Three as it should be. If the fucking timeline didn't get all fucked up by a couple bad people online, but like at this point, I was a little nervous about uh, Love and Thunder. I, I'm on the record. Trust the Taika. That's what we have to do here, right? I mean, I think it looks amazing. I tweeted, and some people were clowning me for it, that it looked like the rare kind of like summer blockbuster that we don't get as much nowadays. And people were like, what do you mean? We get Marvel movies every fucking two weeks, which I agree with. But this felt different. I don't know if it was the narration, which is like basically just felt like Taika Waititi narrating his own movie, which I love. Or it was the Sweet Child of Mine Symphony or the colors of it. But it felt like, like a 2008 superhero movie in a great way, like in a, in a very it's positive way, I mean that. It's brighter. It's a lot brighter. The, it, it, the like you said, the sounds and the visuals are just loud. If, even fucking Chris Hemsworth's eyes are just brighter and prettier. He's so again. Blue, I'm gonna yeah. say on the record, he's too goddamn pretty in this movie. I'm nervous how pretty Thor is because obviously the villain is not pretty and he's a little too like sexy right now for me. My, I like my Thor a rugged man, a little bit rugged, a little bit you know still still a cute guy, but a little like I'm a little more rugged. He's a little too fucking. I felt like I, I sound like such an old man saying this, but he's, he's kind of a Nancy boy right now. I need a little more <laughs> oh, oomph in my he's Thor. Got tattoos now. You see his back tattoo. That's true. He's got a Loki tattoo on there when he gets his clothes ripped off at the end. He's got he got some back ink. R.I.P. Loki is a great fucking tattoo. I hope one of the Lokis from one of the uh, multiverses can see that his I brother know. put an R.I.P. Yeah. on him. That would be a nice twist. That would be. Let's break down the trailer. Like we said, Korg narrates it. The movie likely opens on an alien planet called Indigar from the comics. When I say the comics, this is the book I'm talking about. This is the book to get if you want to prepare for this movie. It's Thor by Jason Aaron. It's a great book. has Gore the God Butcher. It does not have the Jane Foster stuff. That's from a completely different book that they're kind of wedging the two stories together oh, okay. here. But this has all the Gore the God Butcher stuff that you've seen in the trailer, the slain gods already. Um, and Thor answers a prayer on this planet because the planet has become all atheist. And except for like this one girl, she like prays to any gods to come help them. Why did they become atheist, Clem? Because Gore butchered all of their gods. I actually bookmarked the page where he uh, slayed all the gods because it's a brutal look. And I just want you to see this. He puts, like, meat hooks through them. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Oh, God right through their damn. Chest. See that one? Metal? Is this a metal? Metal metal, uh, metal meter? You metal meter. Me? Come on. That's metal. <laughs> um, we didn't see a ton of your Guardians in the trailer. I like that. Yep. Because you would think, especially the Guardian scenes, even if they are going to be brief, are going to be the comedic. Like, the whole movie is going to be comedic with Taika. But these are going to be, like, very funny scenes. And you don't want to give away comedy in the trailer. That's always a pet peeve of mine, when you give away a good joke in a trailer. Yeah, a joke. Like, obviously, the big twist or, like, basically the whole movie is the number one pet peeve. But a good joke. What the fuck's the point of having it in there if you're just going to give it away for free? So I'm with you on that. It's a good call, Bob.
Um, we saw new Asgard. Looks like it's thriving. They have a golf course. They have cruises. Um, Meek is King Valkyrie's secretary. Little Meek dressed up <laughs> as a secretary. I thought that was funny. We see the Chariot of the Gods. This is pulled straight from the comics. It's pulled by Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder. Those are the two uh, goat things that pull it. We see Jane Foster, obviously, as the mighty Thor, and she has the fragmented Mjolnir, which I think looks so cool. Like, I know people don't love The Rise of Skywalker, but I loved the look of Kylo Ren's helmet in that movie, where it was, like, kind of, like, glued together with red glue. This kind of has the same look with blue, like, electricity. At one point, she, like, throws all of the shards of it at other people. And I read, I haven't read any of the Jane Foster Becomes Thor comics myself, but I read about them and they said that Thor is always jealous of what she's able to do with Mjolnir. So that'll probably carry over into this movie. I, I like that too, that Mjolnir is now like a fucking, it's like a shotgun. You just, yes, you know, a bunch of buckshot motherfuckers with yeah. it. And then it comes back together. Very cool. Uh, also, by the way, Portman, I think she like, I think she's on the Barry Bond shit for this movie. Like she's <laughs> fucking arms, cut. I know, yeah. She's trying to break that Portman curse and she's going to do whatever it takes, PED or no PED, to make <laughs> sure she fucking delivers at the box office. So uh, shout out to Portman for doing what was necessary at the gym there. And like they said during the, the uh, trailer too, like that from dad bod to god bod, <laughs> Thor kind of, you know, he, he's getting out, you know, it was nice having Thor on the on the unit side of things for a little while. But, you know, I understand he has to go his own way. Maybe I'll join the god bod, but that's a lot of work that, again, if Portman wants to drop off some HGH in my house, I'll fuck around with it and see what I can do here. If you get the God Body, you also got to get the Loki tattoo. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, so Taika Waititi came out yesterday and actually said, everyone thinks that this movie is good for <coughs> the passing of the torch, but I wouldn't necessarily say that. And what I think that means, I, I wanted to note this, in the comics, we've noted this before, Jane Foster has cancer. And when she uses Mjolnir, it kind of sets back her chemotherapy and it, it's hurt, harmful to her disease. Um, so she uses the power for one last massive battle on Asgard, costs her her life, and Thor's able to, like, negotiate with the gods and be like, look what she did, this is a selfless human, blah 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 blah. They bring her back afterwards. Guess what she becomes? A Valkyrie. I think there's a chance that by the end of this movie, Thor is still Thor, and Jane Foster is a Valkyrie. With, like, if they bring all the Valkyries back or something like that. And I saw Pegasus in this um, trailer, one. right? So yeah, she's right. So they, so there you go, man. I'm not ready for like a cancer storyline of the MCU right now. It's like we've had a lot of shit the last couple of years with medical stuff, but I mean, it is what it is. If they follow the source material there, and she, I think, are we supposed to? She's been snapped, right? I feel like we see her right so in Endgame. I think she has been snapped because Jane says, "Oh, what's it been? Three years?" Yep. Thor says, "More like eight which that explains the five-year gap in her mind where she let that slip her brain. That's not just the whole, oh, X, the X is having such a good time without you, she doesn't <laughs> know how long it is. Like, that that hurts Thor, but if it's just like, oh, he just got dusted into ash by Thanos, that actually makes you feel a little better as yeah, the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, a little right? bit better, yeah. <laughs> There's an Easter egg that I'm sure Jose Young's went wild for. We see uh, statues all over of death, Eon, Infinity, the Living Tribunal, and our guy, the Big Baby, from what Ooh, big if, baby <laughs> the watcher um infinity jose had told us about before because there's that scene where i think in guardians 2 they like hit uh peter quill with something they're like what do you see and he says infinity and jose was always like i know they're fucking referencing the real infinity there like he was adamant that that was infinity so i know he probably went crazy for that and then we get the introduction of christian bale as gore the god butcher and i know a lot of people were skeptical about him when they saw the toys, when they saw the promotional stuff that leaked, I think this trailer sets sets those uh, skeptics aside because he looks pretty fucking scary here, especially in the poster where he's got the glowing eyes and the jagged teeth and stuff. He says, gods only care about themselves, so here is my vow. And he looks directly at the camera like he's giving like a, a monologue and he's like, all gods will die. And we know he's about to go murder a bunch of gods. You don't get the god butcher moniker unless you will butcher a few <laughs> gods right you have to what like how many gods do you think you have to butcher before you get the butcher nickname like like you know like the valentine's day massacre back in the day was like six people died or something like that I like i feel like, like the four, if you butcher four gods you're the you're the yeah because the the standard of killing a god is pretty fucking high then yeah. the butcher said god 
I feel like it doesn't have to be as high as like butchering like the cow butcher. You have to bribe butcher like a hundred thousand to have, have your name <laughs> ring out in in Wisconsin as the cow butcher. The god butcher, you get a good you know a handful maybe a handful. Yeah. I think is about four. And I'm actually kind of nervous. Like I'm looking around it. Like I don't know. I, I I personally love sixth grade history. I I fell in love with some gods. You know some like Zeus, <laughs> hot seat. Zeus is on the hot seat right now. Zeus I'm gonna just come out and say, "Goner, Clem. He is a goner." <laughs> <laughs> we saw Valkyrie using his lightning bolt in the trailer. I yep. was like, okay, well, so he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's probably gonna die. Like in that scene, a lot of people are uh, speculating because apparently the scene we see is like all the gods get together and they're like, "Oh my God, what if Gore just comes through and runs rampant on all the gods?" Like uh, Undertaker in a Royal Rumble, throws them all out of the fucking ring. And that's fucked up too. It's like if you're Russell Crowe, it's like, all right, Russ, I got good news and bad news. We got your role in the MCU. You're Zeus, and you're gonna be fucking cooked probably ten minutes into the movie when we're introducing Gore as the God Butcher. You're gonna get butchered, motherfucker. Man, that sucks. But it is what it is. It sucks, we but see maybe a crack. For an actor like him, you think he's like, uh, eh, like I get to be in a Marvel movie without signing up for a long term commitment. Yeah, I guess some people don't want to have the long commitment. There are certain... I, I do like Russell Crowe, so I almost wish he was going to be one of those big dick fucking characters down the road that we could introduce ourselves to. Fucking is what it is, man. He got butchered. There, there's a Kraken. There's that big... Mo- What's the yeah. name of that big motherfucker that they keep panicking to? It looks like an eternal scene I, I every forget, time I see I him. I forget what his name was, but it's it's this like big splash page here. Ooh, there it is. Yep. It's this. And we and, talked about him. It was uh, Falagar the Behemoth, maybe. I think that was his name. And he wrestles Black Holes for fun. So, like, that's Gore killed that guy. Yeah, Gore butchered him, no yeah. less. He butchered someone that, that wrestles those things for fun. Uh, and we definitely have had Jose on to talk about a little of this. Because I remember we talked a little Gore. We talked a little, little bit about Null, who's kind of, I think, like Gore's, bo- you know, killer boss in, in my brain. So we're definitely going to have him on because there is some deep shit in the cosmos that we have to go over here. Um, but, oh, I thought about this, too. <laughs> this would be, I don't think you could even do this. No, there's no way they could do this. I would love it if Gore went to Ray Stance from Ghostbusters and says, are you a god? And he says, yes. And then he butchers the shit out of Ray. You know what I mean? Like, just kill that Dan Aykroyd. You just give... Chicken. Like, you know. Yes. Yes, that would be a good robot chicken. And then you just see fucking, you know, Peter Vankman just looking on Bill Murray just being like, what the fuck did, you, did I do to my friend? I did this to my friend. It's like, this ain't Gozer. This is Gore, the god butcher. By the way, you mentioned the cow butcher. That is the next role that I would like to see Christian Bale play, the cow butcher of Wisconsin, and it's like a horror movie, American Psycho style. Um, We will have Jose on to do an entire breakdown before this movie. We'll do like an hour-long episode, but the broad strokes of gore, for those that don't know, he's raised on this shitty planet, daylight all the time, they gotta stay out of the sun and whatnot, and he's told, listen, I know life sucks, but the gods have our back all the time, the gods will always have our back. He watches his mother get brutally killed when he's a child, and then he watches his pregnant wife fall off a cliff. And he's like, you know what? I don't think the gods have our back. He goes on this crazy rant in front of all the townspeople, a rant that basically gets him canceled. And they're like, you know what? You're crazy. You're, the gods are going to come after us for saying crazy stuff like that. You're banished from society. They banish him. He starts walking in the desert. He's about to die. He witnesses Null crash land down. Null is... Uh, another hero who has symbiote connections and whatnot. Mm. He created the Necro Sword, which is a sword that could slay gods. It's, I believe, the sword we see in the trailer. And sick looking sword. Sick. Sick looking sword. He has like half symbiote. He's kind of like Voldemort looking. His mission is to create the God Bomb that kills all gods. It's like the God Nuke, basically. You set it off, all the gods are gone. And that's what it's called, the God Bomb. Not very creative on, on that part. But in the comics, he actually is able to create this. And then Thor, one of the Thors, in the comics takes three Thors to defeat him. Young Thor, oh, middle shit. Thor, old Thor. So that's also a possibility for this movie. The middle Thor wraps himself around the bomb. It goes off, starts to kill him and all of the gods. But then all of the gods at the same time pray to Thor and say, please, Thor, you know, survive, save us. And it gives him the power to withstand the blast. He fucking chops Gore's head off. I also like the idea of him chopping a head off at the end of this movie because he's haunted by not going for the head. 
Yes, that would be fucking sick. And like, wow. So yeah, we do th- see those three cut-ups of different Thors running, which I heard the younger one is Hemsworth's son, which I thought was pretty So fucking... cool. I, he had like an Instagram where he had his son in the costume and everything. So I think it's a possibility. It might be a little too Spider-Man No Way Homey to do three yeah. Thors win the end battle. So they might set that aside and just make it Thor and Jane Foster. And you could make it like two Thors in that way. But I don't know. I like the aesthetic of where they're battling Gore as well, where it's like the whole movie is so colorful. And then where they battle him, it goes black and white, except for like shades of yellow. I got big time Sin City vibes when I was watching that, especially with the yellow of all things. I'm like, oh, shit, yellow's the one color that is there. So I I love the whole black and white look. And I'm I'm very interested to see like the cinematography of it all and to see kind of how they they make everything Yeah, get fancy with it. Again, trust the Taika for fucking now and forever and you know no is one bad mamma jamma so i don't know what he's gonna bring if anything him that's the one thing i'm confused about because he might be a sony owned character i don't know if they own the symbiote at this point but you saw like like almost look like black eels behind him at one point and they were the walls but it didn't look like venom symbiote it almost looked like a replacement which makes me think is he gonna even have symbiote in this movie i'm leaning on no Okay, so we know about the whiteboard. I've always talked about the whiteboard. We have the entire MCU H phase planned out. I got to see the fucking contracts between Sony and Marvel where they're wheeling and dealing. Listen, we're going to give you Feige for X amount of days for this Spider-Man. And in return, you're going to put Spider-Man in this Marvel movie for exactly seven minutes. I got to know if Symbiote is one of those things that got in the little fucking tit for tat that they had going on. It's like when Al Michaels got traded for, uh, what was the name? The, the goddamn rabbit, you know? So it's like, there's some weird shit going on with these media companies. I want to know what kind of IP, what kind of intellectual property is being, you know, shared by these two. That's all Marvel shit. I want to see as the fucked trade. up as it yeah, is. Yeah, like what is Fike yeah. to offer up for Symbiote? Yeah, exactly. Is you like, offer me. It's like, like that you meme. Use Michael Keaton in fucking your dumb Morbius movie. To give it some <laughs> I mean, Feige at this point is like, just do whatever, man. You're just gonna keep fucking up unless I'm a part of it. I mean, that much is evident here. Uh, so I, I hope again, like, I have because because that's the way dumb humans work. Once we get the Fantastic Four, once we get the X Men, Deadpool, blah blah blah, and everyone's there. Like, all right, now when are we getting Spider Man? When are we getting Venom? And like, if we could just get even just the littlest breadcrumb for that little universe coming here with the you know next phase, I'll be very excited. Especially if these guys are symbiote symbiote related here. So a lot to break down, Rob. A lot to break down. We're gonna have to have hope. And the flick too hard. I, oh, that was you good, can flick yeah. too hard. That was a great. That was a great scene. And he's all uh, he's naked. He do the, the the like blurry uh, junk. I guess. <laughs> do you think you could do that as the god? Do you think Thor? That was one of Thor's god powers is to blur oh, his junk make, out. So like the Sims, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. That, We're talking yeah. Sims. That's a great point. <laughs> the first time you play the Sims and they go to the bathroom, you're like, wait a minute. What's about that? Oh, okay. That makes sense. You're we like, blurred oh, it out. Right, That's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's fucking, uh, there's little kids watching game four of the Eastern Conference Finals in LA, no less. Like, that's only like seven o'clock. That's that's damn near dinner time. So, yeah, that could have been a problem. But shout out, you know, usually at bar school, if we have to blur something out, we just have uh, Pete use the internet and everything looks blurry anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was excited for this movie. I feel like after this trailer, I could not be more excited for this movie. I have mentioned it comes out the day before my birthday. So shout out me. Shout out uh, bringing shout out you. love and thunder. July 8th, hey. July 9th. Boom. Shout out Mama Fox. She's True. the one who birthed Fox. you. <laughs> you didn't even shout out. <laughs> my mom, every birthday, she'll be like, honey. And I, hey, hey, mom, we did it together. Me and you. Shout out Mama Fox. Shout out Mama Fox. Okay. Can I get in Mama Fox? Like, uh, wh- how does Mama Fox feel about Love and Thunder right now? Oh, Can I get in Mama Fox? I don't like those action movies, Rob. You know that. When they do the explosions, <laughs> I just, I, I would rather they talk, you know? <laughs> That's how it is. That, she, that Jane good. seems like a nice girl, though. She seems like a nice girl. I like girl. Natalie Portman. I just wish she was <laughs> talking more instead of using the, the what is it, the hammer? <laughs> 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 yes, we got a Mama Fox for you guys. Right, that was sure the one like goal the video, for the video. Make sure you subscribe. We've got Obi Wan breakdowns coming later this week. Can't wait for that. We're gonna do episode one and episode two in two different videos. So make sure you look out for that in the whole schedule. And we will see you then. Hashtag trust the Taika.